Welcome back to another episode of the PDP. It's your boy Pops Prince, and today I'm accompanied by the one, the only, Fed. I never really had a long format conversation with you. I feel like I've only it's like brief high and back. Yeah, because it's always like pop ups, <laughs> and like I know you're like super cool, and like you you stay around the same people that like I look up to. Like oh, you guys are like the class above us. <laughs> like you guys are the Bro, older not even that. Bit, you know? I feel like no hell no. <laughs> that's that's such a weird way to put it. I don't even put myself on their scale. Really? Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. They do. I feel like they do a lot more shit than I do. Really? I don't know. It's, it's, You've been it's knocking always... out murals like crazy. But it's oh. not been consistent. That's the thing. Like, I feel like I, I could be doing more. It's just time management shit for me. Like, mm-hmm. like trying to balance all that stuff has been pretty hard. And um. I don't know. This year, I feel like I'm at the point where I kind of need to like start focusing more on my personal work and branch out and actually get serious with it because I feel like it's 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 gotten to the point where I it's showing me that I need to take that risk because all these opportunities are coming in and if yeah. I don't take advantage of that, it's just gonna like fly away and shit. So I don't think. I mean, yeah, I try to think with like an abundant mindset and like I think people think like you need to do everything right away or like um, you don't have enough time for everything, but it just kind of works out maybe i am like spreading myself too thin but i think bro you're all over I, like i said i don't know how you do it it's it's crazy it's like you got a whole family Dude, and, and everything the, and like the whole saying like the master of none like you know that jack of all trades master of none have you heard that saying uh, maybe i don't know so it's like like you'll never be a master of something if you like dabble in so many different things instead of focusing on one on thing, one huh? thing yeah. but it's like what could i like do and not get tired of it you know because i i I think I I jump around from so many different like mediums and I I consider like podcasting a medium too, like video editing. I look at it like art too, like you can add like special effects and shit. So I think it's my way of like not getting bored. I feel like I'm the same way. I don't know if I stick to that's that's what I do between like sculpting and painting. So it's like I have my creatures and then I have the more serious shit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know, I, I go back and forth a lot because I do tend to get bored of that shit. So it's like, what else can I do with this? You know, move on and learn something new and shit. But. I think when I first met you, um, it was at one of Filthy Rich's pop ups, like right there in uh, Edmosa, like whatever. Oh, the corner one? Yeah. That was a badass party. I like yeah. that one. It was like was a party because it, it was a, it was a costume studio. party, too, yeah. right? It was a Halloween yeah, party. Yeah, fuck yeah. And then you came with like, um, your mascot at the time was like a bird. And you, oh, you that did was it my, in like different. My budgie? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He passed away, but. Uh, oh, so that was, that was actual that bird? That was the way to commemorate him. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, damn. He passed away. And his it was name like, was just, Budgie. No, his name was Pepe. Uh, wh- who's Budgie? Or that's just the name. <laughs> that's the no. It's the bird. That's the the bird kind of like type. Little periquito, oh, yeah. Oh wow. But uh. Yeah. So yeah. I, I always remember that because you didn't stick to that like character, um, like you didn't make it like just your thing. Because even from that, like you have like different mascots. I feel like I've seen like a robot and like the robot ones, the one that probably stuck on. Then there used to be like this. I want to call it, like an Aztec hieroglyph thing. That never kind of popped up. It just looked kind of weird. You know, um, I was like, everybody was just fucking with the robot one. It's uh, it's funny because it's not meant to be a robot. It started off as inspiration from a uh, DHR Geiger uh, alien, mm. but like a very friendly What's it version called? of it. The the HR Geiger alien, the, the movie, the alien movie. Oh, the, from the long like head. Versus yeah, Pepper, and he used to have two hearts um. and shit. But it just looked too weird with two hearts. And I was like, no, nah, just put one heart on it. And then it just like mm-hmm. it started looking more like a robot. I'm like, hey, I fucking like your robot. I was like, all right, I guess it's a robot now. Nice. But, uh, and you but feel yeah. like that's the one you like do the most as far as character work? Yeah, I enjoy drawing that one the most. Yeah. I mean, I still draw the other ones every now and then. I just don't post them as much. Um, but that one just stuck on people who did like that one. So. Mm-hmm. What was your first character ever? Just the bird? Or you had? No, uh, it was, uh, I think, yeah, it was the bird actually. Mm-hmm. That's when I started messing more. I was really into like Alex Party, so I did all these like weird creatures and shit. Yeah. And, uh, the birds came off of that, and then the the robot one too. But they just they were they looked too creepy. Mm-hmm. You look like Elo's old style. Yeah, yeah, They're like I very could... very. Cre- but that's good. Grungy. I mean, it a, used to be kind of like that, and then like I don't know, it's like cleaned it up. I was like, no, this is too fucking scary. Like, <laughs> that's um, how I kind of felt with the pigs. Like, uh, I would always do the. I think it's the black guys. Like, if you do the like black, and then you put like a white in the middle, they kind of look more like demons. Yeah. So if you invert it and you do the, like at least the white around it, they look a little cuter. That's why I would do the yeah, ones I with the robot. Yeah, Put yeah, like yeah. the little the little fucking wow. highlight or like color, any color in general on the side. I'm like, okay, that looks friendlier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not gonna scare people. Um, but. but yeah, that was like I feel like that could have been an NFT thing before NFTs was even 
Bro, I think that right. was. We, we like, jumped on the wrong fucking time for that <laughs> shit. Because a lot of people told me that. They were like, hey, you should make these into NFTs. Mm-hmm. I kind of started, and I was like, you know what? Uh, I don't know. It seems, like, too volatile, all that shit. So. Yeah. I never got into it. The whole it. crypto shit. Yeah. yeah. It was cool for me. It felt like everybody was getting rich. And then... I mean, I, I know a couple of homies that did that shit, and, you know, good luck for them and shit. That, that was dope. But even before that, like, when did you get into art? Just like always, grew. I feel like every time I ask an artist, they always just say like, "I've been drawing since I was like." Five. Bro, since I was yeah, since I was a kid, bro. Yeah. Um, when the I'm gonna go back and forth between Spanish and English. Sorry, it's just no, feel it's a little like, bit yeah, comfortable. I, love it. I yeah. was telling Aurora about that because it's gotta, like it, yeah, it's like Spanglish, but yeah, we, uh, you gonna have to bust out the subtitles I later and shit. No, but no, yeah, no, no, I just no. did a whole pod in Spanish. So. I saw a part of it, dude. That was fire. <laughs> Yeah, basically, when we were young, uh, we were sent off to Mexico to live with my grandparents and shit. Oh, but you were born here? Uh, I was born in L.A., yeah. Wow. Um, and uh, it was me and my older brother at the time. And uh, they they moved us over there, and uh, we didn't really have much money and shit. So I'd, I'd be basically making, like, figures out of mud and shit, whatever I found. Wow, like sculpting. <laughs> yeah. That's and I remember my, my grandmother, she bought me my first set of clay. Yeah. And I started making, like, these little creatures and shit like that, little ghost creatures, little action figures. Or dinosaurs was my shit back then. So that's kind of how I started, like, it was just sculpting. Uh, yeah, dude, I feel like that was a passion for it. It was like, you mm-hmm. know, my brother would be like, can you, can you sculpt me some toys? Because I want to play it too. I was like, I got you, bro, shit, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, at a young age, I was always into just, like, you know, making shit. With and your hands. That was fun. And, wow. Just transition into like once you start going to school, you get exposed to those other different mediums, you know, coloring or mm-hmm. drawing, all that stuff, painting. Uh, but I didn't really take it serious until high school, dude. It was just like fucking around. It was like I knew I could draw, but I was like, that's yeah. it. I like it. But the sculpting came first, do you think? Yeah. Wow. That's the. That's, I think that's unique. How do you like learn drawing after that? Or like just in school? Just man. Oh, yeah, in school. Just they like in school, you? like taking like art classes and shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it just developed more. Like, Lighting I drove into, like, I, I kind of like, yeah, just drove into more into like that. Yeah. Our part of just drawing and painting. And left the sculptor for a while till mm-hmm. like high school again, where I was like, man, I miss this shit, you know? Did you go to college for art? I or? went, I dropped out. I went out for, of college? Or? Yeah, out of college. Oh, nice. um, but. I think I did. I mean, I, don't, I guess I got my associates, but I, I didn't do like a I, whole bad I was thing. a hard ass, dude. Like, yeah. I, I had a lot of, I don't know, I fought with some of the professors really and shit. Yeah, physically no not oh, physically like no hell debating. no hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> like no because they'd be like you're, you're being too easy on the critique like you're being i told them you're being too easy on the critiques and like when you critique my work i want you to break it down and tell me the negative shit you know mm. so that way i can learn out of it there's no point in having wow a critique out of that yeah, yeah. you know like i want to see your viewpoint don't just tell me it's like yo that looks dope that's nice oh like they just this. kept saying like yeah value, it's like, like kind of like you know yeah yeah it's like, I don't need that. I don't want mm-hmm. you to break it down and tell me, where can I improve, you know? Yeah. And uh, there'd be times where I'd be just, like, cut off from the critiques because supposedly I was too harsh. And I was like, yeah, I don't like that. I was like, you know what? Like, fuck this. Yeah. I'm done. I mean, that's kind of like a, like a double-edged sword. It's like, like, if you would have stayed there, you would have had to pay more debt and then... I don't know how. Oh many hell yeah! No, we're good. <laughs> but we're out of that. Yeah, it's like a whole. I know, like people that graduated and they're still paying it off. And who knows where I'll be? I mean, I, I went for design, so <clears throat> like graphic design. Yeah. Oh okay. But I kind of learned that at the shop, so it's like yeah, you know. How long have you been at this shop, bro? It's gonna be ten years this year. Holy! So, yeah, it's a big chapter of my life. Are you considered like? Management or I am a supervisor like... there now. Oh okay. But uh, Sick. it's I'm. I feel like I'm running on fumes here. I don't know. Yeah. I need to branch out. I feel like I've reached peak of what I could learn there and just like. Yeah. Other than that, you probably yeah. like what own a shop yourself and like franchise. I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't just because yeah. I see the owner like stress out a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I don't need that shit. And he makes jokes out of it too. He'll be like, yeah, one day you might even own this shit. I'm like, <laughs> hell no, bro. I don't want to do that. No, nah, but that's scary. Like having that stability for 10 years and then like just deciding to leave one day. I'm sure. But you got to take that leap, right? Eventually. But it's like I said, like it's been leading up to that. And this yeah. year I felt like all these opportunities are just been like, you know, back and forth and, mm-hmm. and like just over and over again. So I was like, I need to, I need to take that jump sooner yeah. than later. That's interesting. Because I just started this uh, graphic design job like last year, November. Mm-hmm. And I'm, le- I'm learning a lot, right? Because like a lot of it is in Illustrator. And I didn't know Illustrator before this job. I, I love Illustrator. You, yeah, I love it I can't now. do Photoshop. Really? I love Illustrator. I, I 
the first software I learned was Photoshop. So that's how I started painting, like with yeah, the mouse side and shit. Yeah. Well, well, the sign industry is all like it revolves was, around Illustrator and shit. Yeah, you need vector work. Vector, uh -huh, to but, blow it up. And then it's teaching me about like keeping everything to scale and like being able to draw elevations. I don't know if you do like, are you can, are you like a drafter or are you kind of just set up the artwork for printing? Set up the artwork. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so like as much as I'm learning, I know eventually I have to quit, <laughs> but I'm just trying to. Yeah, just learn the now. best out of it. Yeah. That's the best thing you could do. I mean, it's it's better to learn hands on than, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I learned a lot more from that than school, I would say. What would you say is like an ideal job or you kind of just want to work for yourself? I, I see. I'm like you. I'm like all over the place, dude. Yeah. I, I don't want to just focus on one thing. You know, if there's a mural gig, I'll work on the mural and then. The whole point of having the tattoo stuff is just to have something to fall back on too you know obviously yeah. i don't want to treat it as that but it's like i do want to learn that and focus on that more but also just not be i don't want to focus on one thing i want mm -hmm. to do a little bit of everything still you know because i get bored easily if i were to i feel like if i were to tattoo or do murals the whole time i would just get burned out so it's like i like yeah moving back and forth you almost i think just have to be like a full-time artist right and like yeah. whatever it is whatever we'll medium's see. coming i don't know how that like i don't i never understand how to <clears throat> take it to that level or like make it full-time so we'll find out together <laughs> yeah I, do. I mean i feel like you kind of have to jump around if you want to make that full-time yeah. i mean whether it's murals tattooing <clears throat> or even branding shit you know like mm -hmm. beer labels Polar or stuff, yeah. stuff like that i mean that's that's all like didn't you just make like jeans yesterday or was that oh we burned the fuck out of those bro. oh no. yeah no it was a big hole in my ass and I was like nah I can't do that I'm not wearing those we were just messing around with the laser because yeah. the, the guy the tech came in he's like yeah you guys could do like clothing on here and I was like for real he's like yeah we do he shows like all the stuff he's yeah. done he, he does like his own custom jeans but what that. the laser was too strong yeah well we're still messing we're still yeah. calibrating that he didn't really give us any info on that but uh but yeah luckily I mean the shop's still there so it's not burned out so it's like a that's a CNC machine right uh we have a yeah we have a yeah. CNC yeah okay um Jason, the guy who does the woodworking, like he did that Mega Man, he has one. And we were, we made some hangers before. Oh, I saw the hangers. Um, man. Those are fun. Yeah, and you could do like a lot of cool stuff with it for sure. You could cut acrylic too. I don't know if you. Yeah, no. here. yeah, right. we done. I did, I did a couple already. <coughs> so we have a a flatbed printer too. So we'll just print it on the acrylic and then just cut it out on the laser and shit, or Sorry. even a router. We got a router too, but it's really small. You do a lot of vinyl. Uh, mostly like vinyl, vinyl, dude. Yeah, right? We just moved into a new shop last year. <clears throat> not a new shop i'm sorry a bigger space and we got all this like new machinery we got the laser we got a router we got a flatbed printer we just had a vinyl like the uv Platical. printer yeah, yeah just like a, oh. an epson large ass scale mm -hmm. and uh <clears throat> just trying to learn all this new stuff we're trying to do ada stuff now in house so it's oh, it's, it's a lot dude just like no yeah the signage like yeah. industry is crazy and that has to be i, I learned that like it can't be 3d printed it needs to be like I don't know. There's a whole like ADA compliance thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, it needs to I mean, I do the installs too. And, and then like, I found out the hard way. Damn, it's like, I had a, yeah, too? so it's like, dude, I've done like multiple. It was the most recent one we did. We did on Northwestern is one of our biggest clients. So they redo their buildings every couple of years. And we've been doing that lately. So it's like, I'll spend the whole day just going up and down the flights of stairs, just changing signs and shit like that. Yeah. So I'm the one that kind of sets up the location plan for those. And like, I kind of have to be on point with like where everything is and i've i've messed yeah. up a couple for the installers and but it's, i feel like you gotta be on here. it's one of those things where you gotta be on site because it's it's the way i've dealt with that is like mm. when you do a walkthrough or whoever does a walkthrough there it's like you need to know where that shit goes because sometimes they'll have obstacles where they need to go and it's like well if that doesn't go where does it make common sense to put it and it's uh, like you have like i don't know it's like well if you can't put it on where it's supposed to go which is on the the door handle side it needs to go like on the opposite end and like mm -hmm. if there's any other restriction it needs to go on the door it's like that it's, it's it's a lot dude so yeah or like sometimes the glass isn't put in and like yeah just it's not ready for you i don't know if you've ever experienced oh that. hell yeah dude <laughs> but like yeah you go do the building i was like all right we get there and like one floor is still being renovated we're like oh fuck dude do you ever have a hard time back. getting in like it's far like they don't allow access or something yeah, yeah. Like, especially for like you know buildings like that uh we have key cards that they give us, but mm. like they need to turn those things on like the day of to make sure you have access everywhere. If not, you're kind of screwed. It's Crazy. like some of those don't even have, they have like actual keys. So you need like somebody to go with you sometimes and they're not even there. So yeah. you could get hectic or you get sent to an install. It's like an hour away and then you get there and they're like, 
oh, we don't have access for you today. I'm like, fuck, well, there goes half a day. Man. Right, yeah. <clears throat> That's weekly? That's like every Monday through Friday? Or do you yeah, work like on the weekends Yeah, I do. Too? No, no, weekends are all like, oh. just for art stuff right. or tattoo shop or just family. So Sunday's my family day, so nice. try to schedule that out. Yeah, you know, as you get older, you're like, man, I got to schedule all this shit. Even con amigos or family? Yeah. Like, Dude, it's hectic. I feel but, like it's um, it's hard to to be that friend that, is always like trying to plan shit. I don't know if that's you. But yeah. <laughs> always, I feel like that's me. Well, my friends, I feel like something get weird. Not weird out, but they'll be like, damn, bro, like, you gotta plan that like shit. Like two weeks ahead. I'm oh, like, yeah, yeah bro. Like, like, I'm sorry, but that's just. It just works better. That's like, where I'm at right now. It's like some people are like, oh, let's just hang out tomorrow. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. Dude, I just can't. And it sucks. Actually, I felt bad because Jacob invited me to Pocho's the other day. I was like, bro, I can't. I'm at the tattoo shop. Yeah, Which is, I love Pocho's. I'm sorry. Dude, I, so uh phantom troop jedits is right across the street have you seen yeah it? yeah so i wanted to go to pocho's and then it was it was like 3 15 i was like let's go and then it was closed i yeah, they closed at three, three. i've never been there it was good it's fire bro what do you usually get uh honestly i hate you like but that's probably one of the few spots i actually get like <laughs> why do you hate you i love you like yeah consistency i don't know yeah i like it when it's a little crispy crunchy yeah yeah, yeah. that's they, oh. they make it perfect there bro Fine. nice it's, it's good yeah, I've had soggy. Like uh, I, don't like I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like, uh, <clears throat> it's the other one, the enchiladas. Yeah, but it's is just like the wet tortillas. Ever? Like, like even? No, I just, I don't fuck with that. Oh, dude. crazy. Wow. So you're 100% Mexican? Like both your parents? Are? Yeah. Nice. And then you, if uh, you went back to Mexico at what age? Probably like four. Like four to six, and you were there till how long? Like six years old, and then came here. I came oh. to Chicago. We moved back to, actually from so they were, were still in like LA, and then they moved to to Chicago, and we came here to Chicago too. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's just better work opportunities for my dad here when he came back. So yeah, he lived in Cicero for for a while, for most of my life actually. It's crazy, yeah. but yeah. So I'm not technically from Chicago. I'm sorry. <laughs> that offends anybody. No, nah, it's okay. I'm from Merrill's Park, and I don't think that's yeah. uh, considered Chicago either. Did they ever, did <laughs> like they ever get West that Suburbs. shit? I was like, hey, is that Chicago artist? And you were like, oh, <laughs> I don't know if I have a right to say that. I know. But... Now that I, because where I live now is considered Chicago, we have a Chicago just So, so you get the fuck out of it. <laughs> I just say, it's like, yo, the artist is from Chicago, but I'm from the suburbs or West some suburbs, shit. Yeah. yeah. West suburbs. From Berwyn. Chicago. I was like, oh. But I mean, it gets pretty crazy in those suburbs. I feel like there's still like, I've heard about shootings and it's like, I don't know. It, it could get pretty bad. I live in a pretty calm spot, I yeah. think. I, I mean, I barely see my neighbors. I see them mm. like once a month. It's just like, hey, what's up? All right, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I feel like Monroe's yeah. wasn't that bad, but like Maywood is like right next to it. And Maywood, then Maywood yeah. like you always I used to work around there too. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Cicero and Berwyn, no, oh, they got some really good areas. Wait, and so did you go like Morden? Once Morden East. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's great. I know a lot of people east. from Morden West, but. My siblings went to more in West, mm. but I, I went to East, which is cool because like that's that's where I fell in love with art. My teacher was really hard on us, and he's like, "She pushed you, bro." I remember uh, when I first started AP art there. It was my junior year. I was the only junior in the senior class and shit. I kind of got cheated into that class because uh, my other art teachers like we need to get you in there because you don't deserve to be in this low class uh oh, basic so kinda, art class it um it gave you like <clears throat> she kind of like cheated tricked the system or something because yeah, yeah. she's like what are you what are other uh electives are you taking i was like i'm taking french she's like you don't need french like, are you gonna go to france <laughs> i was like no i was like all right let's, let's just try to switch that and she talked to the teacher and she's like yo get this kid in there and i got in there and shit but i remember the first week she's like oh yeah it looks like crap uh I don't know what you're doing here. Crazy. I was like, what? Like, that shit just like so triggered me, bro. Like, Hell yeah. I was like, yo, I'm going to fucking prove you wrong. <laughs> watch, watch. End of the year, dude, I told her. I was like, so what's up now? Like, did you mean that? She's like, no, I usually just say that to everybody. I was like, fuck. Oh, I took that personal, nice. man. Wow. I took that personal, dude. <laughs> but I love her. She's amazing. She's you still, still talk to we, her? Yeah, we still talk every now and then. Her name's Lisa DeRay. Shout out, Lisa. Yeah. So, doing the work that needs to be done. No, that's awesome. A lot of artists actually had her as a teacher. Oh, Ness yeah. had her as a teacher. Wow. Uh, my mentor, uh, yeah. Frankie, had her as a teacher. A whole bunch of homies that I know had her as a teacher. But uh, she's, she's just, she, dude, she can knock out these artists like nothing, dude. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> what, uh, so then when did feds like become a real thing? It wasn't until after high school or you had already like 
formed that alter ego? Like, Bro, Fez was just like a nickname at okay. some point in high school. Uh, I actually went to I, I went to uh, middle school and uh, freshman year in LA. We moved back to LA around that time, and uh, over there I had a friend who was just bored of saying my name because it was too long. Is she it Federico? No, it's oh. just Fernando. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a cousin that's named Federico. So that's close. That's close. <laughs> it's fancy. But not, I, 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 not even that like long. I know. That's my exaggerated. That's she's like a big '70s fan show, yeah. so she's like Fez. She's like, no, Fez is is too generic. We'll just call you Fed. Wow. And I was like, can we add a Z just to make it sound cool? And she's like, all right, we'll call you Fed for now. And so, damn, it just got kind of stuck after yeah. that. And it's like, you never had people call you the Fed, like you know, like. Well, people from LA call me Fed. Okay. And people here call me Feds. Yeah. Which is weird. I don't know. It's like the Z kind of never stuck over there. So I was like, all right, I'll take that. It's cool. It just now that I just look at it, it just like reminds me of like federal go- government. Like you know how yeah. people are like I got that a lot. I feel like I was in a group <laughs> chat once, and they're like, "Oh, Fed, Feds is here. The Feds, the Feds, yeah, are well, the cops are here or oh, some okay. shit." I was like, I forgot who that was, but I was like, "Damn, should chose a different name." But it's no, too but late. the the Z kind of like makes it cool. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. Dude. Do you promote your name like that, or like people don't only? People I introduced myself as Fernando. Fernando? I still feel okay. kind of weird of just saying like, "Yo, Fed. Feds." Is like, yeah. No, I feel like it's more respectful if I you know, mm-hmm. introduce myself to, by my first name and actual first name. It's like, okay, it's kind of weird. I, I don't like that. Uh, I don't know. It just feels weird calling yourself something that you weren't given like that. Like, I don't know. Like I, I think I've I've grown to pops, and I kind of yeah. just like I say pops to the people I don't know, and I'm Pablo. To, yeah. I guess yeah, more but professional. Feel, or like, I don't know. If I feel like I want you to know me, I was like, no, Fernando is like, I was like you could call me either way. I have no, no yeah. issue with that. It's just I just prefer that. Nice. Um, so it was just you and your brother. You have any other siblings or? I got yeah, I got two younger siblings. We're like an eleven and thirteen year age gap. So for sure, they're probably mistakes. <laughs> what uh, like do you see yourself like inspiring them to do? Uh, like the one after me is really into art. He's actually into sculpting stuff too, which is pretty cool. He's more hands on. The other one's more of a a jock. He's all into sports and all that shit, but it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, no, the 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 one after me is he's really creative. So. And then you have one older one. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, what does he do? He, he he's works. He's like... a. I mean, he just plays video games. <laughs> like, he's got a good job, so that's all. He got a family. Yeah. That's all he focuses on. But right. he's not, so you're not an uncle. Creative. Yeah. Sick. You're like the cool uncle. No, she hates me, bro. Oh. <laughs> she fucking hates. Me. Nah. No, I feel like I don't know. She just finds me intimidating for some reason. I was like, I feel like. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> it must be the tattoos. I was in Mimita. She'll be like looking at me from the side of the corner. She'll be like, "What's up?" How old is she? Just turned three. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They're not talking yet. Oh, she's she's yeah. Oh no, yeah, so, they yeah, are. Yeah, I they guess they talk at one, right? She she says everything though. She'll tell you straight up. She's very blunt. Yeah. Like, she don't like you. She'll just tell you. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, I've been watching my uh, my baby grow, and it's just crazy. Every time he like he just looks at me, and he's like. Sometimes he, I feel like he thinks I'm a stranger or something. Like he has to remember me. <laughs> like, yeah. I hey, you, have, you have two kids, right? I have two, two. Yeah, I have a baby and a six year old. And then the six year old is like a teenager now. Like yeah. I feel like he acts like a teenager and like, he gives me attitude. Dad, just imagine when he gets to that age. I know it's scary because I can't imagine like how he'll like rebel or like I don't know. I want to be so cool with him that he doesn't feel like he needs to do crazy shit. But Dang. we'll see. Were you like a wild child when you were small or like? uh i don't know like my parents i guess would consider it but i felt like compared to other kids i wasn't that bad you know like smoking weed and shit but Uh, i didn't uh, think that was that bad and then like parties and i don't know they say that shit comes back to you so you gotta be careful bro (laughs) (laughs) yeah i guess like how they'll be in their shoes now you'd be like fuck yeah like if you're if you're like a player you get like uh you have a daughter or something like it's like yeah (laughs) that's funny i wouldn't know (laughs) But with tattooing, do you find it like easier or harder, or like you're still mastering it, or do you feel like you bro, kinda... it's like something new it's yeah. still? Have you I... done any tattoos? No, like, I'm anybody? still doing like shadowing, okay, mentors and stuff like that, or learning setups and all that stuff. But it's, it's, I'm nervous because it's like a total new, different medium. But I, I kind of, I really want to learn it. Yeah, but it's just like I've been just focused on my own shit for so long that it's like to do something new is. It's kind of weird in a way, you know, because you're like, you got to humble yourself with like breaking everything down. It's like knowing that you don't know everything. So it's like you're starting back from the first, yeah. the first page. And it's it's just hard to like in that way. 
I feel like it is like lucrative though. Like eventually, you can just tattoo anybody. It's like uh, cutting hair. I feel like it's just like a, a tra uh, trade to yeah. just know and just you could apply it or whatever. I mean, I was surprised that when when a killer buns did my arm, it's like like I was just like chit chatting the whole time. Like sometimes I felt like he wasn't even looking. He was just like doing that. Thing. I'm like, bro, <laughs> like he finished it in like one hour. I was like, damn, bro, like damn. quick yeah, as hell. Dude. That's a that's one thing I noticed and I wanted to talk to you about as far as like with your murals. Do you feel like are you always knock them out in a certain time frame or do you always come back to them and like no, finish dude, them we, I them get right? deadlines for that. Yeah, I've, I've always been strict on those deadlines. Mm -hmm. um, they usually give me seven or nine days. Oh, like okay. The NASCAR one, that one was nine days. Uh, and I felt like they gave me those extra days just because of the weather. I mean, it was raining, it was yeah, snowing. Yeah. And it was like the last two days were like beautiful. So I knocked out like a good 50% of it during the shitty days. So I'd be painting for like three, four hours, or like I could barely, I couldn't even. I was drenched oh, in yeah. water. Your it was all freezing. Orange, yeah. yeah, dude, I couldn't feel my fingers. I had to take breaks, and it's, yeah. it just got too bothersome. So I was trying to make the best out of it. And then, like, the last two days, just like, knocked it out, dude. It's just it's mm -hmm. like, you know, it all depends on that. But uh, yeah, I usually do get like restrictions as far as like timelines and stuff like that. So, yeah, especially when you sign a contract, sometimes they'll tell us, like, well, if you don't do it within that time frame, you're gonna lose the other stuff. Or, like, you know, you don't want to get penalized for that stuff. Uh, for like art festivals, uh, I kind of I felt like I shot myself in the foot when I did that <laughs> warehouse because <laughs> like they reached out and I was like, oh, hell yeah, first time doing like a little art festival in Indiana. I was like, yeah. let's do it. That's your most recent post, right? Uh, was... <clears throat> that was in October. That was before the Bulls one, actually. The owl one? No, no, no. That was that was for Dark Matter. This one was like the exterior of a warehouse in Indiana. Um, I forgot how tall it was. It was like 26 feet by like 110 feet, yeah. I think. Wow. Uh, but they reached out. They're like, all right, we got a couple of small walls, and then we got this big-ass one. And I was like, you know what? I need something good for the portfolio. Give yeah. me the biggest one you got. Crazy. And I was like, all right. But I wasn't experienced. Like they, they told me, I was like, okay, tell us, make us a list of your supplies that you need. Mm. I was like, bro, I've never painted that large scale. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to order. So it was like just breaking down the small murals that I've done and kind of like basing it off I of that. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luckily, like I barely made it. I took a whole bunch of paint from here too. So it was like over 300 cans of spray paint that Crazy. we used for that. Dude. At that was, point... It's not just better to cover more ground with like bucket paint or it's... well it was a textured oh, okay. steel warehouse so it's 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 that needs to be spray painted like, yeah i feel okay. like it'd be easier to spray paint because you can't really get the roller it'd be more oh true whether you just do sense. one pass you know like that so wow. um but yeah then like some of the paint ended up being back ordered mm -hmm. i had to narrow it down there's like a lot of factors that came in some of the paint that i ordered never showed up so it's like i had to change the design to something more simple yeah it was a uh, it was intimidating. It was a big challenge, and I don't know. It's something that I kind of needed to face because it's like you you get so used to like everything going smooth, and it's like man, you got this big project, and I was like you don't know what to do. So I was like, all right, don't freak out. Crazy. We'll make it work. But yeah, dude, it was it was a good experience. I Would you say more. that that's your like favorite, or do you have like a favorite? That one's probably my favorite, just because it was something that they gave me freedom to do. Mm. But uh, challenge. Yeah, it's super challenging. I want to do more big stuff like that, though. Crazy. And then, like, having an experience at this, like, sign shop, you don't think it, like, you can just do it digitally and then blow it up? <laughs> or, like, it... Well, that's what I kind of did. Want... Yeah, I did that. Oh, okay. But it was just, like, for that, the time restraint was just, like, seven days. Mm -hmm. And, like, I know a doodle grid's probably going to take me, like, a day and a half or something, doing just, just a big warehouse, dude. Well, I guess for that, it's, like, textured, but, like... I want, they have like vinyl that you could put on top of it. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like you could print it, but I don't but know. But for something want that. that large scale is is probably even more expensive than that. Yeah. Yeah. But it saves you the time. I don't know. I wonder what the. I feel like it would probably, install wise, it would save you time. Prepping it might be a little bit trickier and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. They have like a vinyl that you could apply to texture, like walls and stuff. But That's... I don't know how. It probably just. It, it's like uh, I know there's a whole like sign painting like movement or not movement but like it's been a thing right where like people paint signs on windows for yeah. storefronts and like sometimes people want the more traditional option or style than just printing it I feel like printing it ends up being a little bit pricier sometimes depending mm -hmm. on the materials I mean if you get you want something to last a long time yeah it's like the premium stuff is usually a little bit pricier than what I would charge for like murals and stuff like that 
So, mm -hmm. but I mean, eventually, do you think you'll like raise your prices to the point where it's like? I feel like I'm getting to that to point. And right <laughs> now, I was like just messing around. Like yeah. the last two years, I've been kind of focused on that too. It's like, am I overpricing? Am I underselling myself? Mm -hmm. And it's, I feel like I'm at a comfortable spot now where yeah. it's like I'm going above breaking even, which is good, but also still not going to, because I do a lot of small businesses too. So it's like I'm, I don't want to. Yeah, I guess it depends on who's that client, client too. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's kind of. I, I was more focused on just building a portfolio at that time. So, do you feel like you have like a strong, like body of work that you could just show people? I feel now? like it's been consistent enough yeah. to 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 show that. So, and you have a you have it all on your website or? Dude, I don't even have a website. I'm still no. working on that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have like a, but you sell most Threadless. most of my stuff has been uh, my clientele has been through Instagram, which is kind of funny. It's mm -hmm. it's. I, mean, I kind of just use it as my portfolio. Yeah. So, you know. Right. But uh, yeah, it's been really good. I, I do need to knock out that website. Though. It's been a project <laughs> for like the last two months. I, I, I like to tell people like it's cool to have different like places where people can find you because also like TikTok is a big thing. I don't know what's happening with like the whole government the, trying to ban it. Ban and shit, it. But I mean, so many people get discovered on TikTok. I don't know if you have one. I did a lot of... Uh, Work in progress murals for yeah, that. Yeah, so that's cool. But it's it's just too much, dude. I can't like be on editing and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like another job in general. I think mm -hmm. I don't know. And Even then, when you're painting too, it's like to like to take the time and record yourself and do shit like that. Or do you have a Twitter too? Uh, I used. I don't really use. I just stick to Instagram now, yeah. dude. That's it, dude. But there's days that Instagram, like I think, it, didn't it shut down for like a little bit, like a day or something. Like, like half a day. Sometimes it tweaks. That's just. I take that as a break, bro. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what if it just shuts down permanently one day? Then you. Oh yeah, then I'm screwed. Yeah, at that point, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so it's it's good to have it. I do have a Facebook one, but I was like, I, I don't think yeah. the last time I saw that was probably like a couple months ago, and that's it. Mm -hmm. YouTube, um, I feel like, and I think this is why I enjoy podcasting because it taught me how to edit. Like it forced me how to edit videos. I think YouTube is like a big like help for artists if you post consistently and stuff. Eventually, I think I could get paid from this shit. So I don't know. Yeah, you don't ever want to like have a YouTube channel and shit. Or, like, post I don't feel videos. like right now. Maybe mm -hmm. in the future. Do you know that guy Ten Hundreds? Have you ever yes. seen that guy's work? Yeah, that guy's. He does like a bunch dude. of like corporate building, like probably the size that you do too, or like even bigger, but. I mean, like that could have been a whole video. I guess you could just find a videographer to do it for you, but it's an investment. <laughs> that too, yeah. Yeah. I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I kind of want to learn it myself just to see what I'm getting into too. Yeah. Cause there's little, um, like it's going to, you're going to make it your own, you know, mm -hmm. like whatever music you pick, whatever shots you pick. There's like so many different ways to shoot things. I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot. One of the questions that we got though was how did, you, how do you pick your colors? Cause I feel like you're pretty, you're well known for like the monotone or like it's the, the red keeping it blue. to like yeah but like within the piece you keep it like to three I, colors i minimum, work it like to like colors? either complementary or split complementary colors okay like, you know colors that tend to compete with each other just because it attracts the eye a little bit more mm -hmm. so that's i mean that's how i keep it i mean and does just different hues off of that color whatever i choose have you done like every color like purples like uh Dude, there's always a blue or a teal in it for sure. Yeah, I know that like for sure. I mean, like the other one that I could think of was like the dark matter bear I did on their yeah, warehouse door. Like, purple, yeah. yeah, the Lakers bear is what they call it. <laughs> but That's uh, funny. but yeah, it's it's mostly I like sticking to like the reds and blues. I feel like that just became a thing. It's where it's like a signature, but you know, it's like my way of a character. That's why I like you know stylize myself. Yeah. Um, I just mess with that color palette a lot. I, I just fell in love with it. I used to hate red, honestly, dude. It's just like just using it so much kind of made me fall in love with it. I was like, okay, I like it. And then the characters that you choose, are they like inspired from real life animals in your life? Or um, just kind of just random? Mostly like spiritual stuff, you know, okay. like uh, there is a symbol of uh, a protector, you know something like being brave stuff like yeah. that i try to like symbolize most of that stuff but it's it's your bears look remind at, me of like brother bear look at me guy guy yeah. like whatever <laughs> brother bear. yeah i love that movie it's so good <laughs> but uh, uh but, yeah. but you do portraits too bro and it's like you're very uh you have a variety of skills i think i want to start messing doing like photorealistic with spray paint mm -hmm. kind of like what matter does oh that shit is so good dude that guy too, is bro. insane my boy's on a different level, so I kind of want, I want, 
that's a big inspiration bro i was like i want to get to that point where it's like i could just like you know, yeah were you at that show that i think he threw like in <clears throat> i think in the south loop um he had oh, the, that, he had the big, one? like yeah. the big lips and then the eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that shit. I feel like it's very. That was a fire show, like, dude. Yeah, really crazy lineup. It's like thinking outside the box and like making, because that's a sculpture, I guess, within itself. It was like an illusion. Like, like if you look at it from yeah, far away, you see like the whole face. I was like, mm-hmm. damn, that's fire, dude. It's like how how random can you think? It's like, and like what I love about it is like the audacity. Like, where do you come up with this shit? Like, <laughs> It's so cool. Man, the guy's a genius, man. He, yeah. does, he does everything. That guy's a jack of all trades, too, bro. He's insane. That's cool. That's why I want to focus on this year, just like, you know, perfecting more of the spray paint mm-hmm. medium. Because I feel like I just like felt it to it a little bit. So I kind of want to immerse myself in that even more. Have you gotten arrested off of it? No. Nah, yeah. uh, Everything's been yeah, legal. Yeah. I mean, the stuff, right. there's been a couple of the ones I'm in Pilsen, but the, I mean, in Pilsen, they don't really care anymore when you're painting on the viaduct. It's just more like they'll pass by and drive by or they'll stop in front of you and just look at you and just pretend Keep to be on. cool and shit. Yeah. Like pretend like you're actually doing a job or something. <laughs> you know, that's what they told me. I was like, yeah, it's fine. But you're actually like making it beautiful, like you're providing like. A gift, I guess. But then, they, like, yeah, I guess that, that would like be a different thing. Like, it's yeah. not like you know, like letters and shit like that. So yeah. it's I'm not throwing up a name. It's more of just like characters or just the animals and stuff like yeah. that. So have you had people go over your stuff? Like, yeah, like, I yeah. used to be very like upset crazy. About. Yeah, upset about it at yeah. first, you know, because you you spend so much time doing it. But uh, at the end of it, it's like you you kind of see street art as an, you shouldn't see street art as a permanent thing. It's meant to be there, and enjoy it while it lasts, and that's it. Yeah. So when people go over that now, it's just like well, it lived its life. It's kind of cool that you could like take a picture of it and yeah. just, like, it'll live forever on your Instagram. And you'll see it like evolve over the years where it's yeah. just like, you know, disintegrates or people go over it. So that's pretty cool. I had did a Wii poster and then I was listening to the Oxymoron. <clears throat> not during, but like it was not an Oxymoron. Whatever school would accuse the newest album is. I did a Wii poster, and then the next day, I don't. It was covered with all the posters from <laughs> School Fight Oh wow! And I was like, "Oh, what the fuck?" <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, I got a picture of it. It's just funny because, um, yeah, we pa- we pasting is like something I really want to get into, and I just I want to print more stuff. I feel like it's easier than. Uh, Dude, I was doing that. Paint. Like, yeah, I feel like I started doing that straight out of high school with uh with Mako mm. and a couple other artists. Uh, that was fun with just your like, characters or just yeah the little like it was all of them so it was like the robot or like the little elastic hieroglyph one yeah that's when i was doing more of that one and shit but that was fun just like making people like uh pieces out of a it's like cheap paper cheap mediums and shit like that and just yeah. like knocking them out in the city I used to go to little village pilsen mm-hmm. that was usually the spot but, but yeah it's cool seeing them like over the years just like if you still see one there'd be times actually where I would have people like message me on Instagram. I was like, hey, I found this fresh paste. I took it down and took it home. I'm like, oh, bro, I just put that it. up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But uh, yeah. it got to the point where it was like, it, it, I, I messed around with it. So there would be times where I just kind of like spliced it a little bit. So make sure just like if case. they try to take it home, it would just like tear. Yeah. I, like, nah, it's fine. I know that's a thing. You can just cut it up. But uh, it's fun. I don't know. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was a little phase. You don't think you'll... Uh go back to it or like you're more focused on i might just to like have some fun yeah uh you're able to print them at your shop or or yeah actually i feel like i've been having a hard time finding what paper that actually is it's like it's like almost like newspaper yeah it has to be like it's uh it's like a super thin we have one that's called like a wet strength paper so it's meant to it's meant for that actually yeah Uh, let me see if I could get some samples. I'll give you some of that. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Like I would definitely love to like work with your shop and stuff. But, uh, um, well, I'm still there. <laughs> yeah, I got to take advantage. Uh, so then from these murals, you've been able to work with like companies like uh, Sueños, I think I saw, and, like festivals and stuff too. But also about, like, like Dark party. Matter. Yeah. Like, all, you do a lot of collaborations with like beverages. Like I think I saw a beer. Also, uh, Low Res, bro. Yeah. yeah. Low Res. Uh, I miss them. It was like my first like. Uh, they're not around uh, anymore. Gig, no. Yeah. Yeah. They. Uh, COVID hit and they just never recovered from that. Basically. Uh, but that was my first like, branding thing. Yeah. It was like so dope. It was. Did you reach out to them or they reached out to they you? They reached out like... to me. Okay. And that's where I kind of fell in love with like the, d- the design and illustrator stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it was something new to me. I was like, man, like they're reaching out. I really need to learn something just to like grasp it. 
what I'm getting into and like it just became fun and they're like they were super lenient on their designs too they're like this is the name of it do whatever you want okay. we don't really have a color palette so I was like we'll let you do that mm -hmm. so that's kind of where like the whole complimentary thing stuck in too because it was like I also need to like do more research on it and like what attracts buyers when you're doing oh, making products like that so right. it's like I don't know it's it's it was a whole new thing where it's like I, I kind of delved more into like the design aspect of it and, mm -hmm. It was fun, dude. You work around the project. Yeah. Just like even like yeah, it's like it, if it you depends want, on how you design it. Yeah, if you wanted to make a beer, like, well, you can make a beer level, but if you wanted to stand out, there's like you know, certain mm -hmm. things you got to do. So. And then the dark matter coffee bags and stuff. That one, I love that one because that was <laughs> out, that was out of my comfort zone. It was like mm -hmm. super bright pink. They neon. asked you for colors specifically. Uh, you just they did at first, but like the 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 idea just kind of evolved around the theme. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I, the one thing I really wanted to incorporate was my niece, oh. so she ended up being on the back. She's That's like beautiful. riding a little mammoth and stuff like that. So I I love like personal work when people like involve like how you said your bird and just yeah your niece and stuff. Yeah, whenever I see them, they'll be like, oh yeah, the little asker like, how's your niece doing? Why well, you keep drawing on your back? I was like, <laughs> she's good. she's growing. Sick. Um, where do you see yourself like in in a couple of years? I guess like what do you want to happen if you can manifest it? Oh, no. if i can manifest i know i'll probably manifest it for sure i am gonna be more i'm definitely gonna be full-time art bro i could say that yeah right. as far as what i'm gonna be doing i can't say just because of all the things i like doing or moving yeah. around i want to say i want to do more murals around the u.s or even latin america like i really want to go to latin america yeah uh and go paint actually Mairo Rojas, like he's, he's from Bogota too. Like I've been talking to him for a couple months. Dude, now. Bogota has so much like But But he runs like a mural festival over there, Bogota Colors or something. Mm, I never heard of it. But he's like, he's mentioned, I was like, yeah, if you're ever in town, like come through and we'll get you a wall. So I'm like, oh, Sick, we'll see, bro, dude. Do so, it. Yeah. Or even like Mexico City, just like, you know, just like branch out and, you know, yeah. try out different spaces. Oaxaca, I really want to go to Oaxaca too. What part of Mexico? Is your family from? <clears throat> from Zacatecas. Oh, okay. They're from Jerez, little pueblo. Uh, you ever paint out there? Like, nah, man. Yeah. Uh, it's probably I haven't hard to been find there in like painters, 10 years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they might have some in the city, but I mean, it's still like a good two hour drive around there. Yeah. But. How does your family or like your parents feel about your art career? Eric, They've been well, supportive, dude. Yeah. They've always been supportive. I feel like they wouldn't mind thing. because you have a stable job, but like, yeah, if you never got into like graphic design, maybe that'd be a little. Well, more. No, I talked to them even like with the whole decision <clears throat> about leaving the print shop. They're like, well, as long as they've always been on like, as long as you're happy and you're comfortable doing with what you're doing and yeah. it provides a steady living for you, then go ahead. Nice. So they've always been super supportive of that. The tattoo stuff, I don't know. They kind of scare that shit, you know. Yeah. I mean, the first one I got, I they were pissed, like freaked out. What is that? Is that yeah. primal? Like, you know. That's like how them. like traditional Hispanic parents are. I feel like. Yeah. Now they're like, oh, ya cuando aprendas, me haces una novedad. I was yeah. like, I don't know. Oh, no, que no quería. Eh? Sí, no, dijo que no quería usted. So it's like. And, uh, that's funny. Yeah, it is the typical Mexican though. Yeah. Or Latino in general. Yeah, my parents are super against it, <laughs> but. My mom's even brought up like maybe getting like a little dolphin or something, something cute. Yeah, like it's, there you go. You see, now they're like, yeah, like, it's like, más es una aquí, <laughs> like the most generic, más es una rosa con tu nombre, o la, yeah. los nombres de mis hijos. Like, oh yeah, they always love getting the, the name. Cheesy stuff, man. Um, yeah. So they were cool, and then you never, like, did you have like influences growing up as far as like people in your family that did art, or you kind of who did you look up to that did it? Oh. I don't know. That's kind of, that's a tricky question. Yeah. I feel like I was always into art, no matter what. Uh, Cartoons mostly for like, yeah. Movie. I mean, I grew up with same thing as you, like Dragon, Dragon Ball Z, bro. <laughs> I used to draw my character, like make up my own characters, you know, yeah. and shit like that. So it's it's, it's fun. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. What was the other one? Inuyasha, mm. uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Anything adult swim, basically. Yeah. Um, Cartoons too, though, or mostly like I'll see anime stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I watch like Popeye and all that shit. And nothing crazy, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, but as far as like people, just like you know, I don't know. I just like friends. Cause I, I feel like your art is a mix between like realism and you. I mean, your your character works are more like cartoony, yeah. like the robots. The 
the the birds. What's the bird called? Budgie. Uh, Pepe el Budgie. Budgie. Okay. <laughs> the budgie. Do <laughs> you ever think you can bring him back? I might. Yeah. I might re like redo him differently. Mm. Uh, something that fits the style a little bit more. I feel like it was kind of creepy back then. So I don't know. Have you ever done that though? Like bring back old pieces and redo them in your All own, the time. Like, I'm going to do yeah. that for Scent Rock shit because I feel like I haven't had like too much. Uh, so I'm doing a show at Scent Rocks uh, yeah. May 10th and 11th. And yeah, I have pieces that I felt like I could have made better or like maybe at the time I thought they were done. But now I look at them and I'm like, oh, I could do this better. I could clean this up. Like you would find your style in a way. A little style. bit. Yeah. I feel like that's how it is with everything. Like you're always going to look back at it and, and find like a little flaw or like something that you can make better. I used to do that a lot. Yeah. So my thing was do like a self portrait every two years Sick. and see how far I've improved. Have you? I haven't done it in like it? four or so. No. I've been slacking, but you posted it uh whew, if it's in there bro it's it's a couple of ways back but i think i, I i've been changed i think i might have archived it or something but did you but have yeah. a beard the last time you did it did i have a what a beard uh i had like a little baby beard oh, was barely yeah. growing and the shit progression. yeah dude you do it again no it's it's pura, una peluca, yeah, fuck <laughs> it, dude. but uh yeah dude just like seeing from like the high school stuff like, yeah my portraits were shit Wow. Like it was, is all like very cartoony still. Proportions were off and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I feel like I've definitely progressed over the years. It's it's nice. It's nice seeing that evolution of your your style or like your mm -hmm. how far you've come. So, but as far as like redoing old pieces as like actual work like that, I don't think I've done that. Probably should though. I mean, a lot of your pieces are already mural, so it's not like you could redo them, right? Well, just like the old, oh, like those the old cartoons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe bring some of those back, but like mm -hmm. the present style, or mess around with that. Nice. But uh, have you had like a solo show or like your own feds? Like that show? was probably that was way back, dude. I can't even remember the last time that was. That was a duo show with uh with Elo. In Chicago. I was in Pilsen Outpost when they were on Damon. Yeah. Uh, that was the last one, but that's been a minute. That's probably been good six seven years probably yeah and even that technically is not just it's not fed. really a solo show yeah really. but it was like the majority of the work yeah. was. Yours. i feel like i no, i might have had like a little pop-up there mm. or something but nothing so i don't know it's it's just hard for me to get like a massive concentration of work focused around something yeah like a cohesive mm -hmm. body of work i'm already knowing and like even like I didn't realize until after I posted the flyer for the Sun Rock shit that I've never had a solo thing either. I've always uh, had at least like Rich or like some of the homies. Yeah, some of the homies. Like yeah. I've always, and I, I never like thought of it like maybe that was a way of like taking the pressure off. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause it's like now all of it, all the attention is on your work. But I, yeah, I, I do eventually want to have one though. You should, I, I you have, have enough been, work to I have show. pieces. I've been working on pieces that I don't post and mm -hmm. they kind of want to build up to that, but it's, you know, based on the concentration. And I feel like your work is like, um, like people know it's yours. So anything you make, it doesn't have to have a theme. Like it can just, it's just fed. I, I want that theme. I feel oh, like okay. it's challenging. You tell a story? Yeah, 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 it's kind of challenging in a way because that way it puts you in a different mindset. I don't know. I feel like I got used to just making something that's just decorative. Mm hmm. And I kind of want to delve back into like the whole, you know, the story behind the piece in general. So yeah. I used to do a lot of that in high school. There was this uh, piece that was probably the first, one of my favorite pieces that I ever did was like a skull made out of hands. I don't know if you've seen that one. Mm, it's a physical it's a, sculpture? No, it's, oh. uh, I made a sculpture out of it. It's super shitty, but. I think you're the first, maybe the only person i saw like actually sculpt spray, uh spray paint cans the cans i know it's like well people were into, to, like to painting paint them. them yeah, yeah but. and i saw and i started messing around with sculpt with the sculpting around that time again so i was like oh i wonder what supplies i could use to actually make these last because i used to use clay and i was like i don't want to bake this in the oven <laughs> have it blow up you do it um, in like the same oven that you cook in or you have like a yeah, yeah used to, <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's like you don't want to do that you know yeah um but I found epoxy to work a lot better because it just air dries. Mm. Oh, you're the budgies. You're the ones you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I used to do those in markers, dude. That was fun. I know I heard people that say that they don't want to. That was this one. Be known as just one. Oh, uh, crazy. 
that's awesome so like the the story behind it it's like you know no matter what, it's very dark i was going through like my fucking metal phase and shit <laughs> yeah but uh you know no matter how hard we try like you know stuff isn't meant to last forever kind of thing it's like there's no hand gesture of stop in that skull so it's like it's eventually it'll fade away and disappear Sick. it's like super dark dude i was a i don't know i was a metal head back then yeah. so i was like I want to see it blown up. I want to see it like 10 feet tall. Shit. Have you had like a sculpture like that? Like you ever tried I made a like... small one. I don't, I haven't posted that one. Uh, which is funny because uh, OG Slick, the artist, he actually made something with his style around that. So it's like, but I kind of did it first, you know? <laughs> Claim that shit. Yeah. But, but I'm pretty sure he probably claimed that. Or he was like, whatever, man. You know? Uh, no. Nah, I... I think he made a sculpture out of it too. He made he made a sculpture out of it. He made like prints out of it, uh-huh. pen out of it. And I was like, well, whatever. But uh, but yeah, you know, it's funny how how that that happens though. Like you feel like you got some like original idea, but somebody else comes out with the same thing. So it's like, yeah, okay. I feel like it, like you could think of it, and then it's available for anybody. Yeah, <laughs> like, but it kind of becomes like a challenge. Like, do I, I, I should probably manifest that if it comes to me first instead of mm. worrying so much about it. But yeah, because whoever like makes the most of it, kind of. Oh, he definitely made some bucks out of that. I could guarantee that. Yeah, and I I feel like it's very like egotistical to think like oh he copied me or he saw it for me, but no, nah, it's know. like I mean at the same time it's like we can't really claim that. I'm yeah. pretty sure we all come with some sort of relative mm-hmm. ideas that are. It's like certain um, icons that are like available for everybody, like hearts, yeah. stars, yeah. hands. Can't like, really like, claim. You can't that really claim shit. it. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I mean, even if it's a matter of who did it first, it's like it's their own interpretation of it. So that's the way I see it. Yeah. My girlfriend actually asked, she said, how does, how did you get the confidence to take his art seriously? I don't know. I feel like you just love it so much that it's just becomes a norm. Yeah. It's, I wouldn't say it's confidence. It's just, you know, you're just so comfortable in it that it just doesn't feel, doesn't feel like it's mm-hmm. much. Like what else issue. would you do, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> I, feel like I don't know. I, I've, I've worked in a lot of things. Dude, I used to be a school janitor. I worked at a bakery. Crazy. I used to do uh, demolitions. It was like breaking down houses and shit like that. With like a... Construction. Bulldozer? No, or no, like... no. Just like a sledgehammer. Oh, like shit. Knocking that was probably wall. therapeutic, that was though. That was fun yeah. as hell, dude. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You see? I used to do... A... Actually, I think where I kind of got more serious, because I used to work at a warehouse. They used to do the a landscaping warehouse. Mm. They used to do the Christmas decorations for... Uh, O'Hare, Midway, Willis Tower, yeah. Sears Tower. They always go crazy there. Uh, and like both of downtown. And they had me as like the lead artist there. So like they would come up with an idea. The designer would be like, how do we make this come to life? The client wants this. So I would have to sit with them and just like, you know, think of solutions of like how to make it. Like they had these like uh, stained glass spheres that they had like small scale produced. And it was mm-hmm. like, we had to blow those up. So it's like kind of figuring out what materials we need to do, how to put that safely so it doesn't drop on somebody and nice. kills them in the airport. It's like it project like, yeah, management. Dude. Like so I was like, this is fun. It. Yeah. So like spending time in a warehouse, just creating or sculpting. I got, I got back into sculpting there too, actually just like sculpting a reindeer and shit like that. So it's fun. But, uh, that's where I got more involved in like hands on stuff. And I was like, man, you could really make something big out of this. You know? Yeah. And it's just comfortable with it, man. I loved it. So I don't think it's been an issue as far as that. Do you use that in your in your work now? Like it um do you have like creative freedom with your job now or not really? Uh, it's more uh, like whatever they tell you to at make. At the shop? Yeah. No, I I I try to learn whatever I can from every project, whether it's a install process or you know, design process or how to work with clients in general to uh how to make it make it a smooth transition when focusing on the design to like the final steps and making it come to life. Um I don't really get much creative freedom because most of the stuff is just ready to print. Yeah. Um, if anything, it's just been more of learning the business side of it that I've kind of dwelled into more. Um, but I do like if a client comes in, they don't know what they want. I do have that like, you know, confidence and giving them the right product and stuff like that. So yeah. there's always that. Or even I always give my clients an option too. It's like, if you don't want to paint it, I could do it in vinyl too. So, nice. but I get to install it. I get yeah. to print it. So it's like, I know the whole process there too. So it's another option. So what are you working on now as far as like this week or like projects that are coming? Uh, <clears throat> just a 
tattoo stuff right now, dude. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You're not like no murals are lined up or nothing. There's a couple. Uh, there are like the early stages. Uh, this cafe wants a a wall uh, painted, but they're waiting for like the school year to end, so it's a little bit less busy. Do you go out and like reach reach out for them, or do they kind of just come to you? you... Uh, most of them have been just like word of mouth. They come to me and stuff like that. I've applied to a couple mural festivals, so I'm waiting to hear back from those. I'm really excited about those too. So. Uh, but that and just working on personal pieces, but the tattoo stuff is the one that's probably my main focus right now. Yeah. I think that's what Red Door said too, that he had to take it like some time off from like painting because the tattoo thing is so like, it's like another job in general. Time consuming. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's hard, dude. Like I said, I don't know how you do it, man. Shit. <laughs> I'm running on like six cups of coffee a day. So yeah. shit. I feel like even though like, people say like, yeah, you're dead. And I, feel like, I got to think that is the motivation. You, like, you look at them and you want like better. You want better for yourself. But yeah, you still got to give them time and be home. Like even like with my my girl, like she wants me home at a certain time because we got to put the baby to sleep and it's a whole thing. That's it's how my like, boy is, uh, my mentor. Yeah, he's got a, he's a kid got, too. He's got time restraints too. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, but only tattoo till nine because he want me home, bro. Got to be yeah. home by dinner and shit. I was like, all right. Yeah. Gotta go put the baby to sleep. Respect it. Yeah, it's um, it's funny because the baby comes with more blessings, but also time. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I I appreciate you coming on here, bro. No, thank you, bro. Bro, I feel like it's we we kind of needed a conversation like yeah. this. It's just been like a hey, what's up, bro? You know, shake and then buy yeah. kind of thing, or like very minimal talking, just because it's just a lot of stuff going on around. So, uh. Yeah, dude. I mean, I love your work, dude. It's all amazing. You do a lot of shit and mad respect for that. I feel like thank you. Ryan. Everybody should be like that, you know, just not focus on one thing. Kind of need to sit down with a homie every now and then. So yeah, definitely. I want to <laughs> hang out with you more too. Oh yeah, like, dude. Maybe we'll do we that. Paint we'll get some uh, coffee. Go yeah. around on a wall or some shit. Go for that. <laughs> Did uh? So you never wanted to get your own space? Or like that's not a. Is that a uh, like, it is yeah. for now. Uh, I don't mind working from home. Uh, yeah, especially like, a, like these large scale pro- just the garages. What I have, oh, yeah. just that's like all you really basement. need. Though. Yeah, yeah. Or the basement. I got like a little uh, desk set up and shit like that. But it's mostly just storage for all the spray cans and stuff like that. Mm. That I probably need stuff. Uh, but no, I mean, so far I haven't. I've been working on small pieces personally, so it's, it's it hasn't been very. Uh, hasn't disturbed the space at home, which is good. Yeah. But I do I do probably I should be looking to get into space just so there's less distractions too. Mm-hmm. You know, once you're home, you get a little bit too comfy or I don't know. <clears> yeah, if you see your bed and like yeah, you that, just want to go to sleep. For real, bro. <laughs> shit. Don't even paint in your room. Don't even design in your room. You gotta have that shit separate. Yeah, I think so too. But uh but yeah, that's fun. Um, you hang out with uh, Jacob a lot, right? Or like I feel like yeah. I always see you guys on your He's a brother, stuff. man. Yeah. Love that guy. That guy's been blowing it up, so he's gonna come on Wednesday. But for on, real? The other, on the other podcast, oh, um, shit. we had to schedule him in advance, I guess, because I don't know. He's a pretty busy guy. Guys, too. guys, all over the place, bro. I DJ, tell you, I had a schedule sculpt, like, with him, bro. So yeah. he's all over the place. <laughs> no, no that cool. guy's that guy's that guy's a homie, man. I love that guy. The shit he's doing is ridiculously awesome. Like the whole drip collective project, yeah, it's been insane. The dude. whole build out. Pretty much all that woodwork is him, right? I saw him, bro. That's his baby. That's crazy. So, yeah. And they've been glowing up like crazy too. Just like yeah. that's like the probably like the most popular coffee shop in Chicago at the moment. It looked like a club. Like I went there not too long ago and there's people. I ain't go I haven't outside. had a chance to go, but I wanna go to one of those events because yeah. they look so fire, dude. You haven't gone at all to the No, shop? I've been to the shop, but oh, I haven't yeah. been to the events that they have. Mm. Uh, just because of uh it looks just crazy. Schedules. It's just like so tight so it's just doesn't like, even feel like a cafe it's just like <laughs> super club, chill yeah. yeah dude it is club like drip or something yeah. what does he call it club <laughs> probably drip? Yeah, yeah some shit like that but i think they got black lights now or like just like the projector going the dj booth the you DJ know he went wild on that yeah. so it's it's, it's it's cool man Zone set up. Yeah, i love seeing the homies manifest that dude mm-hmm. you just see more of that but it's like ownership too and just um yeah like i think his name is uh Damn, I'm spacing out his name. The main guy. Francis. <laughs> guy, okay, man. there you go. Yeah, it's Francis. Uh, I feel like, yeah, like it's empowering people to to be owners of their own space. And I hope like all of us have our own storefronts and studios one day. I know that'll happen. So. Yeah, dude. 
I'm excited. Yeah. Where uh, do you see yourself in five years? If you want me to ask that. Um, damn. I'll be 34. I'm about to turn 29. Dang, you're young time. as hell, bro. Really? See, that's the yeah, holy fuck. How old are you? I'm like 40, bro. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> nah, I'm 32. Oh, what not that far, but yeah, yeah, I'm 32. Yeah, you're, you're right there. Um, 34. I need a house, dude. I'm still, so we live out of my grand, my aunt, my girlfriend's, I guess she's my fiance now. Yeah. We live in her parents' basement. Um, so that's been the main focus. We need a crib. And then 34. You just got a house. I want my own but I, 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 I yeah. want to. That house is meant more for my, my parents. Yeah, yeah. You know, they live upstairs. I live you downstairs. I could see you living what with like Jacob it? and shit. <laughs> That'd be dangerous. Yeah. I don't want that. You guys are Nah, boy. nah. <laughs> nah, I love the guy. That guy yeah. is super actually, amazing guy. But I want but, another uh, a studio, another storefront slash studio with anybody who's willing to do it. I know some people aren't, like, they say they are, but then when it comes down to planning it, it just never happens. So well, Let me figure out this tattoo thing and then come back to me. Yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah, we, we yeah. got time. We'll yeah. figure that out. Damn, dude. So you, you could even work at Jedits too. Like, I don't know. I mean, so... Being an apprentice or being a, in an apprenticeship, does that mean you're going to tattoo out of there eventually? Or are you just learning how to? No, oh, it's good. They're, they teach you the whole oh, ropes okay. there. Yeah, eventually I will start tattooing there. Inside. And then, yeah. Nice. I mean, they gave me my little booth already. It's just a matter of mm-hmm. learning everything. It's You have, like, flashcards? It takes or, time. I'm working on flash designs. Flash design. So that's the thing they wanted me to focus on, too. Nice. But I want to focus more on, like, the character stuff. So bring that into the tattoo world. Yeah, like that little robot. Maybe there's like um, different styles, right? Like yeah, it's thing. we do like American traditional. What do you think your style would be? Uh, definitely, Cartoonian? I want to do traditional, but with my cartoon characters and shit. Nice. And then just like black and gray realism, mm-hmm. and maybe do color. I don't know. I kind of just want to grasp black and gray first. Uh, color can be intimidating, just from what I've seen. Yeah, I don't it's know fun. what to relate it with. Like, I think it's like watercolor or like how do well it's weird because like, i mean when you're tattooing like you know sometimes that shit will bleed out so you kind of have to like deal with know the, where you're putting the color exactly and that's why they how keep it's gonna how it's stuff. gonna heal and all that stuff it's like a lot of stuff in general so um have you tattooed yourself not yet okay. i had diego tattoo me <laughs> at uh one of killer bunts's party we were all tipsy. It was a bad decision but i, I got an original <laughs> diego p- bird milk piece on my leg uh but uh yeah was, uh, jacob got one too actually it's funny as hell but uh yeah it's first time tattooing it came out great <laughs> that was the uh, bird monk's first time tattooing yeah bro he's oh, never okay. held a machine i don't know why i trusted him like, the confidence was <laughs> yeah. there though dude it was like you know tequila was in yeah. so it's like it was, all the factors were, were set when we had a tattoo party at the studio at skokie i tattooed my knee like on yeah? myself. i did a blue eyes white dragon but like just that's, the outline and it's okay. very shaky it's, that's all right no matter gave me my first one he did the this bear damn but matter tattoos too yeah, that's like yeah, his, yeah. wow that's like, besides murals yeah, he, really he does really mostly does tattoo everything damn. but uh it's funny. He's like, yeah, let's do a small bear on you and shit. I was like, all right, let's like, go. It's big as hell. Like, it's big as hell, yeah. bro. I was like, do we call that shit small? He's like, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we'll knock it on in five hours, bro. No but uh, yeah, he's, he's working on this sleeve. This uh, Jaguar too. So supposed nice. to do another one next month. We'll see. But it's Copi Very, uh, why, why the Sal- Salvador Deli? A- I like Salvador. I like his work. I mean, he's kind of an asshole, but. I'm just like right intrigued but by But that's what they say about all the artists. I yeah. feel like. They say Picasso was an asshole. But I'm just intrigued by his persona and uh, his style is just ridiculous. That imagination, you know, that's just wild, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool, man. This is the homie sleeve, so we'll see. Who else gets a tattoo? I got rednecks. And I got another one today, too, so we'll see. <laughs> it sounded like you said rednecks. Oh, like- bro. Oh, I got rednecks. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Uh, where can the people find you? Like, what's your uh, socials? Yeah, you can that. just find me on Instagram, sadly. Uh, that page will come soon. But uh, Feds Art, F E D Z A R T, all together. Let's go hit them up for murals. For real, please keep me busy. You can follow me at Pops Prince. Um, I have a stuffed animal show coming up May 10th. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to that? clear my website. Here, <laughs> the homie. Yeah, I want to have a. 
that show and then maybe like a clothing show towards the end of the summer so we'll see dude i want to start doing shirts too Clo- have I, you ever done shirts i did a dolly shirt? shirt back then like way back like with your style i want to make more like it's gonna sound cheesy but like gym inspirational shirts but with my characters or some shit do like you over, oversized teeth yeah dude oh how often do you go I go. I used to go every day. Now I've been going to like three days a week just because of all this shit. L A. Export. Uh, I used Blank. to go to Export. Now I just go to Blink. Never heard of Blink. It's in uh, North Riverside, dude. It's it's wild, dude. I was. This whole last year has been like a transition. <laughs> Is was, the logo like blue? No. Never mind. No. What do you mean? What's wild about it? Like, I, I was at a point where I was like three thirty or some shit. Dude. Oh wow! I'm like at two fifty right now. So that's probably higher, dude. Congratulations! Another forty this let's year. Go. Let's see. Let's go. Nah, dude. I've definitely been trying to like lose weight too. I feel like when you're when you're expecting a baby, like, like even though she's getting pregnant and eating more, like I'm eating more with her. Is it just <laughs> like the stress or something? Like stress eating? Or? Uh, no, I feel like it goes. Just that's more, oh yeah, you know I can what? see that. I, then, I saw that with my brother too. I was like, hey man. Yeah. <laughs> and that too we eat a lot of bread colombians eat so much bread um but yeah she's mexican so we have so much like tortillas. that's dangerous you know the mexican diet is the worst bro dude mexican food is so delicious <laughs> like, it's so it's bad so for you but so good well there's yeah. i mean there's, there's exceptions but there's it's little... all like heavy carb based mm-hmm. yeah no i've been living off of chicken rice and broccoli for like is the it chicken year. grilled yeah. or fried okay that's what i've been hearing that um that I need to stop eating fried chicken. No, no, no. More Protein grilled. shakes, yeah. Oh, nice. Or just get an air fryer. Yeah, Makes I'm going to go to the gym after this. I need to yeah? do something. Get that pump? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I sadly can't go today, but I'll go tomorrow. Yeah. it's a, That's the whole thing. It's like discipline. And like I need to really get on it. It is. Like, it's, it's, it's scary at first because you don't, it's like, you know, it's, it, could, it could be intimidating is what I want to say. Yeah. You know, you don't know where to start and all that stuff, but you get the hang of it. You see how your body reacts to it. And it's not one of those things that's going to be overnight. You got to be really dedicated to it. You know, you're not going to see changes in a week. Yeah. It's a slow transition, but it's, it's it pays off good, dude. So, you, so you'd you like to make like workout clothes or more like your design? It's like my design. Working out. Nothing crazy. Like yeah. In, in the art. No, not like working out in general. Just like inspirational shit. Oh, like. I've just been into like oversized tees lately. I was like, I don't need to make one because I, I feel like these are the shit now. Nice. But uh, no, I, I do want to get back into clothing, uh, more shirts than anything. So jeans, no jeans, no jeans, no. They're, <laughs> they're all burned. We're good. We'll stay off of that till we perfect it. No, yeah, but, do uh, it, bro. But we'll sick. see. So That's keep an eye out. Gym wear coming soon. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right, guys. You can follow me. I already said that. Yeah. Pop Let's go. <laughs> all right. Take care, guys. Thank you.